most intriguing lost continents is a landmass that is believed to have once existed in the Pacific Ocean. A mythical land that is known as Moon. The first person to write extensively about the lost continent of Mu was a Scottish writer by the name of James Churchwood. In the 19th century, he was in India when he visited a monastery and the monks there had records, apparently tablets, that referred to this place called Mu. That was this huge continent that supposedly existed from Hawaii in the north down to Easter Island in the southeast, right the way across to Micronesia in the west. And the people there were supposedly called the Nakao, the continent of Mu, thrived perhaps 50,000 years ago and was sunk beneath the waves, possibly at the end of the last ice age. My great-grandfather, James Churchward, eventually he became friends with the Rishi of the temple that he visited in India. And then the Rishis mentioned that he was a member of the Nikal Brotherhood, the holders of wisdom and knowledge of the lost continent of Mu. They were mighty navigators and sailors and established civilization in other parts of the world. According to James Churchward, the Nikal civilization had a population of more than 60 million people at its peak before a massive volcanic cataclysm caused Mu to vanish beneath the waters. So far, no evidence of the lost continent has been found on the ocean floor. But some researchers claim that, incredibly, a tiny remnant of Mu may still exist above water today, on an island located in a remote part of the Pacific Ocean. Roughly 2,500 miles northeast of Australia lie the ruins of a once great ancient city, Nan Madal. Nan Madal is a complex of man-made islands built with massive stone blocks that float atop a submerged coral reef. So as you approach Nan Madal, there are a series of islands and they're built actually on coral, the only place in the world where this actually occurs. And you've got all these incredible structures made of these prismatic blocks. At Namadol, you have these ridiculous basalt columns. They're huge, some of them up to like 40 tons, even more in some cases. Some of them are raised very high up in the air, on the very top levels. So there's a real problem when it comes to trying to understand how they moved these millions of tons of basalt columns. One of the biggest mysteries surrounding Namadal is that nobody really knows who constructed it but there's some very strange stories about how the city came into existence. For instance one of the stories talks about it being constructed by so-called master builders turning up and using a magical force to raise the blocks into the air and put them into place, almost as if they could levitate these blocks. Some people actually suggested that maybe Nan Madal was the last remnant of Mu that was still above water. And it was simply indicative of what had sunk beneath the waves from this advanced civilization. Nanmadals in Micronesia, so it fit the correct general area. And this is one reason people thought in terms of Mu. When it comes to looking for this lost continent of Mu, places like Nanmadal really do suggest that it could be much more down there than we realize on the bottom of the ocean. It's hard to picture an entire continent with people living on it, simply vanishing into the sea, and yet, all over the world there are legends of lost civilizations that were swallowed up by the oceans. But could such legends actually be true? <laughs>